He wants to reverse that. Joining us now is Congressman Dana Rohrbacher, Republican from California, the state which just legalized recreational marijuana. How do you feel about the Attorney General saying, uh, 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 it's against the law at the federal level and we're going to impose that law on you guys? Well, I think it's sad that the Attorney General uh, is veering so far off of what President Trump campaigned on. During the campaign, he said that he believed that uh, medical marijuana should be legal and that actual personal use for adults, as we have here in California now, should be left up to the states. And so <laughs> we have now an attorney general that does not seem to be reflecting what his boss was promising in the elections. Plus, he's thwarting the whole idea. I've known Jeff Sessions for a long time. I thought he was a constitutional conservative. We have over 40 of the states now that have legalized medical marijuana or some use of private use of marijuana. And uh, they think it's a waste of time and a waste of resources and giving money to the drug cartel to keep it illegal. But we have now the attorney general saying, no, no, the federal government has, is going to make all the decisions for us on this issue. It's totally contrary to the Tenth Amendment and everything supposedly conservatives believe in. Okay, got it. Hold on a second. I've got one more for you. I want to ask you about the Republican tax reform plan. Californians, especially upper income Californians, get hit really, really hard. Now, you're a Republican. You're in California. Are you worried about your re-election in 2018 because of what the impact on California from the tax deal? I voted against it. Why? Well, I voted against it because in my district I analyzed exactly what the impact would be on my individual uh, homeowners and yeah. families throughout my district. And I, tens of thousands of the families in my district were going to have a, a very sizable tax increase yep in what they were paying out. So I, I, I've always run as a low-tax, pro-freedom person. And uh, the last thing, <laughs> my voters didn't vote for me to raise their taxes, so I had to vote against it. Now, are, are you expecting an exodus? We've had a lot of reports that uh, upper-income people will exit California and go to Nevada. Upper-income New Jerseyans and New Yorkers will exit and go to Florida or Texas. You concerned about this? Well, we have such an irresponsible... Uh, uh, state government here, the, the, the liberal left wing of the Democratic Party controls our state government and they're, they're just ta raising taxes and regulations. They are driving people out of the states and having the write-off that the federal government does for state and local taxes has actually helped a little bit. But uh, now that the federal government say, no, 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 you got to abide by state law, uh, that's that's basically going to drive a lot of people out of California. Is it a disaster for California, New York, and New Jersey, you think? I mean, I, that's a loaded word, disaster. Well, what is, the, the disaster is their state and local governments that are controlled by the liberal left that have so swung their states, made them so vulnerable that they can't be treated like every other state in terms of their state and local taxes. Yeah. Uh, I, I, You know, this is... Uh, this is not to blame the Republicans. The Republicans didn't make this happen. That's true. It's the, those, the cries in Sacramento were the ones who did this. Uh, quick word, if you would, on withdrawing a quarter billion dollars for, in aid from Pakistan. You approve? I think the President of the United States, again, he is fulfilling his promise to the American people. No longer are we going to be patsies for dictatorships like that in Pakistan. I am proud of President Trump, and we all can be proud of President Trump, for what he is doing to make sure that the American soldiers who are overseas fighting radical Islam are not actually being killed by a government like Pakistan that provides aid for radical Islamists in Afghanistan uh, the last thing uh, we need to do is have our president uh, not be able to, and we, now we're, how, we're proud of the president, for saying we're no longer going to give Pakistan the money as long as they are uh, in, uh, aiding radical Islamists and lying to us, which they've done forever. And by the way, they gave safe haven to Osama bin Laden for years, the man who slaughtered 3,000 Americans, and then to rub it in our face the Pakistanis still have Dr. Afridi, 
who was the man who helped us get Osama bin Laden. They have him in a dungeon. So I'm proud of the president for standing up to this type of arrogant uh, and, and, and mistreatment of the people of the United States. Well, Dana Rohrbacher, thank you very much for joining us, sir. A Republican from